Good afternoon, my name is Ann Sessions and I am the president of the Niagara Frontier Watercolor Society. I'm standing here in front of the Carnegie Art Center in North Tonawanda, New York, where we have our spring show hanging. We have Mary White with us, who is going to be doing a workshop for members of our organization. And she has been the jury and the judge for the art show that is hanging. We are very pleased to have her. She is one of the foremost portrait painters in the United States. We will have a gallery walk of Mary where she will talk about the pictures that she has chosen for prizes. Welcome to the Niagara Frontier Watercolor Society Annual Open Exhibition. I'm Mary White and I'm very honored to be this year's juror. And very often I'm asked, what makes a winning watercolor? Well, there's several things. Of course, as judges, we all look for something that's completely original. We look for technique to make sure that it's technically sound, that it wasn't overworked or got muddy. We look for a great composition. We look for sound and solid drawing skills. And lastly, I ask myself as a juror, did this artist realize what he or she was going after? I'd like to show you this year's top award-winning painting. This is a painting by Lan Fang. Beautiful a description of leaves on water. It's, it's an inventive, it's creative, a wonderful combination of line and mass and flow here, and yet a wonderful sense of depth. It's a beautiful abstraction, it's both contemporary and also representational. Love this way the color goes across here. Beautiful painting that ticks off all those boxes that we look for as judges. Okay, look at this painting called Deerfield Trace by Robert B. Misterfer. Wow, if this doesn't show watercolor at its very best, as we know, putting down watercolor once and leaving it is really hard to do, but this artist did. Look how this beautiful pristine washes, one shot here, the way the background is so simply done, carving around this shape, and just with just a little bit of detail, I had to give this one of the top prizes. What a gorgeous painting this one is. Now, let me show you this year's third place winner. This painting called Majesty was done by artist Jennifer Corey. And wow, what an ambitious painting. As we know, as watercolors, doing a painting this big is very difficult to pull off, but this artist did. What a wonderful repetition of curves. Look at this, how this artist repeated the curves all the way through, all these small, little individual colors and shapes, and yet she kept it fresh and vibrant and jewel-like, a beautiful work. I would like to thank Mary White for coming to Buffalo to do her workshop and uh, tell you a little bit about her. She lives and works in South Carolina, received numerous awards for her artwork. She had a uh, quote that really said something to me, getting a likeness is the easy part. Making a good painting that endures, that speaks forever, is the difficult part. She presently has a show called We the People that is traveling around the country, for which she painted 50 large-scale portraits of veterans, one from each state of the United States. It is presently in Washington, D.C., and will be traveling to several other sites over the course of the next few years. We thank Mary for coming and we really appreciate all that she has done.